In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding, evaluating, and interpreting an inverse function for a given linear relationship. In this example, we're given the function p of n, which is the price in dollars for n grams of vitamins. So the input here is n grams of vitamins, and this function returns the price for those vitamins. Looking at the questions, we're told that we're going to let p inverse be the inverse function of p, and we're going to assume that x is the output for our current p function. So x is the price, and n is the number of grams. So our current function, we put in the number of grams, we get out the price. For question a, we're asked which statement best describes p inverse of x. And again, the inverse function will be the opposite. So instead of putting in grams to get price, we're going to put in price to get grams. And this doesn't have anything to do with a ratio of price. Also doesn't have anything to do with a reciprocal of price. But the inverse function will give us the number of grams for a certain price. So the second option is the one that we'll choose. And then for question b, we can see that we're asked to find the inverse function, which will be p of x. And to find that inverse function, we know that x equals 0.4n plus 5.7. So to find that inverse function, I'm going to solve for the variable that's currently not solved for. I'm going to solve for n, and that will be our inverse function. Solving for n, to get it by itself, on the right-hand side, I would first subtract the 5.7 from both sides, Canceling on the right, I now have x minus 5.7 equals 0.4n. To finish solving for n, I'll divide both sides by 0.4. Again, canceling on the right, I now have the n by itself. And the left-hand side is x minus 5.7 over 0.4. This n is our new inverse function and it is a function of x instead of a function of n because we can put in the price x and the output here will be the number of grams of vitamins at that price. So scrolling down here, our inverse function, x minus 5.7 over 0.4. For the last question, we're asked to find p inverse of 8.3. So we will be replacing x with 8.3 in our inverse function, so 8.3 minus 5.7 over 0.4, which simplifies to 2.6 in the numerator, divided by 0.4 equals 6.5. That is our p inverse of 8.3, and that means $8.30 would buy 6.5 grams of this vitamin. 